Okay, so now the next step is to take the parsley and as you can see, I cut it small. You take all the stems off, you don't really want all that. Uh, so I've just chopped up a bunch of parsley. And again, depending on the quantity you make, it's gonna be different. you're gonna be able to tell as, as we blend this uh, exactly what you need. In this case, I'm gonna make uh, the equivalent of, I bought two containers uh, of olives, each one is 500 milliliter. Again, it doesn't be, sometimes you can buy them from the, by, uh, by the weight, like it's whichever, but this is roughly about 500 milliliters. I'm gonna do two. Reason for that is because you find that when you start having one just to taste it, next thing you know, half of it is gone. So you're gonna have to have enough for later. So we've got that, I've opened up the anchovies. I opened up a small can of tuna, like I showed you, and I've chopped up some garlic. Again, everything is to taste. I personally prefer a fair amount of garlic. And the reason, by the way, you use a spit of tuna is to tone down the saltiness of the uh, anchovies. So what's gonna happen next is, again, you get a little a, a chopper, uh, oh, I've, you know, whatever you have. In this case, I'm gonna use a small one here. And we're just gonna go like this. We're gonna take a bunch of this first, like that and a bunch of garlic like so and a few pieces of anchovies two three whatever and the reason i do this is so that it all get mixed in i do it in stages so that's just the beginning right there and we'll do this and we're gonna start Got it? Okay, so in the next frames, I'm gonna show you basically what it looks like when it's all put together. We'll see you shortly. 